Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install plugins on your WordPress powered site. Now, the first thing to do when installing a plugin is to hover over on the left hand menu, hover over plugins and then click add new. This is going to take you to the add plugins page on the WordPress dashboard. And here you're going to see some recommended plugins um, that are free and available to install immediately. And you can also search here for any plugins in the WordPress plugin repository. Or if you've purchased the plugin, perhaps from my theme shop, um, you can just click upload plugin in order to upload a plugin. Now I'm going to show you how to first install a free plugin from the WordPress theme repository. And I'm going to search for WP notification bar. Um, so just type in that search term and hit return. And we're going to see that uh, the WP notification bars plugin by my theme shop is available to install. And you can see things such as when it was last updated. So here it was five days ago. Well, it's compatible with the latest version of WordPress and your version of WordPress. Also how many installs it's got and its star rating. If you want to find out more details, you can click on more details here and that's going to load up some extra information that's going to tell you a bit more about the plugin. You can just click install now in order to install the plugin and WordPress is going to download that onto your site and from there you just need to click activate plugin. That's going to activate the plugin and um, now with this plugin I can see I've got notification bars now activated. I can also see here I have WP notification bars, I've got a short description and again I can view those details, see who the author is and also deactivate the plugin. So if I wanted to do that I would just click deactivate and I can see that the plugin is now no longer active. If there are any updates available these would also show here and I would just be able to click update in order to update that with one click. I'm just going to reactivate the plugin and um, just click add new again. And here I'm going to show you how to add a plugin that you've downloaded from a external source from the WordPress plugin repository, such as from mythemeshop.com. Just need to click upload plugin. And then here you're going to be able to um, upload a zipped file containing a plugin that you've got from elsewhere, such as mythemeshop. Um, so I can just click choose file. And here you want to navigate to uh, where you've downloaded your plugin. So um, I've got mine here. And I've actually got the My Theme Shop WooCommerce Checkout Field Modifier plugin. Um, I can just click open on that and then press install now. And then WordPress is going to upload the plugin and to activate it. Again, I just need to click activate. Um, now, so I've just installed a plugin that works with WooCommerce. And you can see here, I've got a list of all of my active and inactive plugins. And actually I've got WooCommerce, which is inactive. So to activate that now as well, I would just need to click activate. And um, that's really all there is to it then. Uh, installing plugins from the WordPress dashboard is really simple. If a plugin is available on the WordPress plugin repository, then you're going to be able to just do a search for the plugin name and install it straight from the dashboard. Or if you've got one elsewhere, you just need to click upload, choose the plugin files, click upload, and then you're going to be done. WordPress is going to handle everything else for you. Notifications for updates are going to be uh, displaying here, as well as on the top of the menu as well. So you've got really easy access to updating. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching.